Good day, I'm Nyaja B. Padayas and today I'm going to perform tepid or cold sponge bath. Tepid or cold sponge bath is the application of cold water to the surface of the skin by means of wet sponge. The purpose of this procedure is to reduce body temperature by convection and evaporation, to relieve restlessness thereby providing comfort and relaxation. Special considerations instead of cold water we could use a tap water and measure the client's temperature, pulse, and respiration to provide cooperative baseline data. Face, neck, and leg will be sponged. Back is optional. Chest, abdomen need not to be sponged for there are no large superficial blood vessels in these areas that aid the transfer of heat. Assess for assessment, we should assess the client for other signs of fever, skin, skin warmth, flushing, complaints of heat or chilling, diaphoresis, irritability, restlessness, general malice or delirium, and we should also determine patient's ability to tolerate cold sponge bath. And we should assess baseline vital signs and any hazards to be to the patient's vital function with the application of cold and observe fluid and electrolyte status, especially in patients with elevated temperature. And we should assess condition of skin before and after the procedure to determine if alteration occur, occur indication are acute or chronic pain, hypothermia, and effective thermo more regulation and for planning and or outcome the client's temperature will be reduced and maintained within the normal range and the client will verbalize a feeling of comfort and relaxation now let's proceed to the procedure today I'm going to perform tippet sponge bath but first equipment needed for this procedure are water source of coolant tap or cold a basin for a sponge bath, two to four pieces washcloth, a bath towel, a large sheet to use as a covering, blanket, bed protector or rubber sheet, um, table protector, and a small basin with ice chips and two pieces ice bag and a thermometer. And later on, you will see all my equipment. First step for this procedure is to prepare the water to a temperature of 29.5 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit. But add ice chips to bring temperature down while bathing the patient until the water temperature reaches about 18 degrees Celsius or 64 degrees Fahrenheit. This will help prevent the sudden changes in the patient's temperature. Our water is already adjusted to that desired temperature. Next is we need to explain that the face, neck, arms, legs, back, but this all optional, will be sponged at that procedure and it will about takes to a 25-30 minutes. Providing an explanation of the procedure will help gain cooperation from the patient and reduce anxiety about the procedure. Also, we should protect the patient's bed with a moisture-proof material to the linens for getting wet. And I've already put on a bed protector before I start the procedure. Then we will remove the gown and assist the client to a comfortable supine position, as what you can see. And removing the gown, removing the gown provides access to all skin surfaces. And then we need to cover the patient properly to prevent shivering as various parts of the body are exposed for bathing. And for prevention of chilling, minimal exposure and provision of privacy. Now I will perform the procedure, but first we should first introduce ourselves and explain the procedure to our patient. Good morning, Miss. Today I am Yaji Vipadaya, your student nurse for today, and today I will perform a tepid sponge bath to you. Is that okay? But first, before we proceed to the steps, we must first check the temperature of our patient. Miss, let me just check your temperature. Okay, the temperature of our patient is 
38.5 pennies a tippet sponge bag. Now we're going to place the bath towel under the patient's head at, to, in order to protect the bed sheet from getting wet. Now here's our bath towel. I'm just gonna put this on our patient's head. Then we'll prepare several ice bags, which is already in our here. And we will immerse folded washcloth or material for sponging in basin with water. Here already. Washcloth need to be as moist as possible to be effective. And we will sponge the client's face with plain water, but to dry then sponge tea. Neck. Sponging the face, the neck should be within 3 to 5 minutes. Friction or rubbing may raise body temperature. Now let's proceed to that. This is how we should so face with our with our like this. Also her neck. about three to five minutes. Then, we will place a bath towel under one arm and sponge the arm slowly, gently for about three to five minutes or as tolerated by the client. Now here is our, we should always remember that in doing this, we should start from the farther side of our client, from us. <laughs> For that, we're just going to put a washcloth on both armpits of our client. Just gonna double make sure it will cool down. Cool I'm going to do it on the other side. Yes, that's all. Then we'll cover, but do not dry each part as it is as it is sponge. Evaporation of moisture on the skin helps to reduce body temperature and an excessively heavy covering may increase body temperature. And we should repeat steps in a lower extremity sponge for about three to six minutes, doing it gently and slowly. But remember that when sponging the extremities, we should hold washcloth briefly over the wrist and ankles and the blood circulation is close to the skin surface in the wrist and ankles. And we should change water as needed while the temperature rises as a result of exposure to the patient's warm body surface. In washing, in washing the lower extremities of our client, we should first put a towel under both of her feet. apply this on our patient's forehead and we're just going to flip it if the other part is already warm Slowly and gently. And we should check our patient's color and pulse rate during the bath. If the patient become pale or cyanotic, or if the pulse rate increases or become irregular, 
we should discontinue the bath as this indicates that the temperature of the patient may have dropped to suborn level and after doing the check of the calls of our patients. Now, the pulse of our patient is still normal. After the procedure, we should remove all the washcloth. Now we're going to remove the washcloth that we put on our patient's groin and armpit. And do aftercare of equipment and change bed linings if sold in order to avoid transmission of infection. And also we should check the patient's body temperature about 30 minutes after the bath to evaluate the effectiveness of the sponge bath. And also we should document assessment including the temperature. We should recheck temp if temperature dropped is recorded and graph using broken red lines and recording communicates the care provided in an accurate friendly fashion and for evaluation we should check body temperature reduce and maintain within the normal range and patient verbalizes decrease and restlessness thereby providing comfort and relaxation that's all for the sponge bath thank you